Hi, my name is Muhammad Hafizuddin Miroslam. My metric number is E21A0537. So today I will be present about the life cycle of cricket. Akita domesticus is the scientific name for the common house cricket. These insects are typically found in and around human habitations and are often kept as pets or used as food for other pets. They are known for their chirping sound, which is produced by rubbing their front wings together. They are also used as food source for human in some cultures. The scientific name Akita domesticus is made up of two parts, the genus name Akita and the species name domesticus. The genus name Akita is derived from the Greek word Akits, which means cricket or locust. The species name domesticus is Latin for domestic or belonging to the house which refer to the fact that this species is commonly found in and around human homes. Together, the name Akita domesticus literally means domestic cricket. House crickets Akita domesticus are sexually dimorphic, meaning that males and females have different physical characteristics. Male house crickets have a larger curve or repositor which is his reproductive organ on the end of their abdomen while females have smaller streak or repositor. Their life cycle. The life cycle of cricket include the house cricket, involves several stages of development, including the egg, nymph, and adult stage. The process begins with the female laying eggs which are typically laid in soil or other suitable materials. The eggs typically hatch within a few weeks depending on the species and environmental conditions. Once hatched, young cricket called a nymph go through several stages of development called instars. During each instar, the nymph grow and mold their exoskeleton. This process can take several weeks or months depending on the species and environmental condition. As the nymph mold, they gradually develop the characteristic of the adult crickets, such as fully developed reproductive organs. Once the nymphs have complete their final instar, they become adults. Adult crickets have fully developed reproductive organs and are able to mate and reproductive and reproduce. The lifespan of an adult cricket can vary depending on the species, but most live for several months. Adult cricket are capable of reproducing one or more times during their lifetime. Okay, mating. Mating in house cricket typically occurs at night. The male will produce a chirping sound to attract a female, and once she closes, he will use his front leg to hold her while they mate. After mating, the female will lay her egg in the soil. The egg will hatch into nymphs, which is juvenile cricket, in about two weeks. The nymph will go through several modes before reaching maturity in about 8 to 10 weeks. <laughs> the chirping sound that male house cricket, Akita domesticus, makes produced by rubbing their front wing together. The front wings of male crickets have a specialized structure called a file and scraper, which are used to produce the chirping sound. The file is a hardened straighted edge on one front wing, and the scraper is a most smooth edge on the other front wing. The male cricket will rub the file against the scraper to produce the chirping sound. This sound serves as a mating call, attracting females to the male. The frequency of the chirping sound is species specific and unique for each cricket species. Additionally, research suggests that the chirping sound can also indicate the temperature. The rate at which the cricket chips is related to the temperature. So, by counting the number of chips in 50 second period and adding 40, the temperature in Fahrenheit can be approximated. How to differentiate their sex? I will be discuss the difference between the male and female cats. First, it's important to note that male 
cricket are typically larger than females. This is physical characteristic that can be easily observed. Another physical difference between the sex is the antenna. Male cricket have larger thicker antenna than females. These antenna are used to detect the pheromone of female which is important to do ring mating. One of the most notable difference between male and female sex crickets is their vocalization. Male cricket have a specialized structure called a file on their front legs, which they use to make a loud chirping sound to attract females. Female crickets, however, do not have this file and do not chirp in addition to not chirping. Female cricket also have ovipositor, which is a structure used for laying eggs. This is another way to differentiate between the sex. In summary, male and female cricket can be differentiated by their size, antenna, chirping, and ovipositor. See here, this is the type of food that I give them, such as uh, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, and grass. I give them every day with water so that they can live and produce the eggs. That's all from me. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.